What up, big kids? Here's my Toy Fair 2013 footage of the new uh, products from DC Collectibles. And here we got the new 1 1 scale uh, Green Lantern power battery. It's uh, made of resin instead of metal this time, which will still be heavy, but a lot cheaper, and the lights will be a lot brighter. We're getting a Sinestro Core orange lantern, so for a lot of free, so mine, mine, uh, these will be like about $170. Each so it at least two hundred dollars cheaper. We get a blue lantern, so man, it's very nice. And they said they're probably going to redo the red lantern too, which is awesome. The new Injustice figures, the thirty three four inch one. We got Solomon Grundy versus Wonder Woman. These will retail for twenty five dollars each. Um, have a little, you know, the box kind of has like a little diorama background for you to fight. We've got uh, Green Arrow versus Deathstroke. Uh, we got four packs announced so far. We got uh, Harley Quinn versus Cyborg. I'm surprised Batman and Superman aren't in either of these packs. Maybe it's because Mattel is making the six inch one. Same with the Joker. I don't know. It's uh, DC collectible, so Mattel have uh, things. But a Flash is going to come with another character. Uh, they look pretty good. Uh, I want to pick them up just because they're Injustice, but I'm not a bit trying to get three, three, four inch figures anymore. But um, also here is the new DC uh, bombshells uh, statues inspired of uh, Supergirl, Wonder Woman, and Poison Ivy. These are the 40s, 50s like pinup look. They're actually really nice statues. Uh, it's so funny Raquel, uh, who's with me, brought up um, during the time when I was recording this. They have Poison Ivy statue. Uh, she said you should do Poison Ivy. She'd be perfect for that look. And lo and behold, there she is in that very Betty Page stockings uh, looking gorgeous. I actually recorded this the very next day. Just this section, uh, all this other clips you're seeing here was filmed uh, back to back. But yeah, I, I went back to the DC Collectibles booth just to film this because they didn't have it on hand the first time I was there. This was the last day I was at Toy Fair just to put this on. So I'm glad I came back. And then we got New 52 uh, Supergirl. That's the um, cover girls of DC going on. Uh, looks very nice. We got platinum. Uh, she was very shiny. Uh, the a lot of these uh, statues were on the top shelf, so it was a little hard for me to get really good shots. But I tried my best. Back row looks amazing. Uh, very sexy. Very nice sculpts. Uh, and we got uh, Def, looking very cool. Uh, it's cool that they're doing a lot of stuff with her lately. I know this. Uh, you'll see another Def uh, statue here, but they're also doing Batwoman. A uh, picture of what she'll look like. Salma Grundy from Batman Arkham City. One of the biggest surprises. Well, not really surprised as much as a uh, happy surprise that I was uh, hoping they would do him. And he has a removable chest and heart. It's like a movie. The detail is uh, amazing. This will be a deluxe figure. So I guess this will retail about 50, 60, maybe a little bit more. He's actually taller than the Joker. So he might be around 70, 80. Bucks, I'm guessing, yeah, a little bit pricey, but really amazing. Here's the new uh, Wave 4 of Arkham City with Deadshot, um, uh, Talia al Ghul. They, all, they look really good, and I'm definitely picking up. And that super articulated Batman that they're doing, I kind of wish that they did him in early waves or did it with the other figures, but uh, I'm picking up all four of them and really cannot wait to have him in hand. Uh, even the Nightwing looks good, even though I have the Mattel Nightwing. Like I say, it looks really good. Uh, really, I always love the figures. Here's that DC Nation, Wallace of Gummit style. By the way, this Joker, this doesn't even remind you of Krusty Crown, but if you've seen it in DC Nation, like, uh, like these characters are based on the, you know, a Superman, uh, Joker, Catwoman, Batman, Robin. Uh, yeah, like, it's their style. They're very adorable. The Claymation, Wallace of Gummit style. And I uh, forget uh, how much they'll retail for, I think. Each figure will be like 15 bucks each. I believe they're doing a two pack with Batman Robin. I think that'll be a San Diego exclusive. So, um, yeah, that one will be, I think, like 25 or I forget, 30 maybe. Oh, yeah, here is the Sandman and Death uh, bookends. Very cool, very amazing detail. Um, looking very good. I really am digging it. Uh, the arrow. Uh, Green Arrow statue, I guess, um, you know, based on Arrow, the TV show. Looking very nice. So I hope they do a figure of him, but the statue does look pretty awesome. And they actually got Steve O'Malley to uh, do scan of his face. And 
yeah, really uh, nice DC Click Bulls, actually. But this one, really amazing. Dark Knight Returns Batman on his Black Stallion horse. Just freaking awesome. This thing is, like, huge. It's, like, like the horse is, like, really dark. So on the black background, it's kind of hard to pick up. But I took pictures of this on BKBN.net, so you guys can check that out. Link is in the under bar, but this statue is freaking incredible and huge. Uh, it's, like, hard to get all of it. And like I said, the black background... On this one, more so than anything else, was harder to pick up. The lighting wasn't as good as I like, except for the pictures. But uh, the Arkham City uh, statues, we got Nightwing here, which is cool about these statues. They're black and white except for one color, which Nightwing, it's blue, Joker, it's green, and Harley, it's uh, red. So they look really cool. I'm surprised they haven't done Batman yet. Um, they said they, he's going to be in the next one after Nightwing. But yeah, the Joker looks cool. Uh, very nice. Uh, I really like what they did with the colors and everything. And really awesome. Batman Arkham City. Freaking love that game. And I can't wait for more of this. Whether it's DC Club Bowl, Square Enix, Mattel. The Harley Quinn looks really sexy too. Um, and like I said, it's cool. Like the reds uh, comes coming out there. Um, yeah, the Joker tattoo right there on the list, uh, waist looks really great. And these new Superman statues that are coming out, very cool. All these different Supermans we got in. You know, we're getting like All Star Superman. We're getting uh, like uh, Jim Lee Superman, M. Hughes. Um, all these different Supermans, all ages. Yeah, like there's the Jim Lee one. Uh, so this is like to counter the Batman black and white statue. Instead of making it more black and white, they're making it metallic. Which is cool. So for your Superman fans here, these statues are like the Batman black and white statues. So they're gonna do a new one, like yeah, you know, like All Star Superman, you know, all that stuff. Looking really cool. Speaking of Man of Steel, uh, here's the new one six scale statues. Looking really good. Uh, like I said the texturing and everything. I love that each one has an articulated cape and a base that is their uh, symbol, like Superman's symbol. We got yeah, like really cool. I really like the articulated cloth capes. Um, you got Jarrell here, Russell Crowe. I'm really li liking the outfits in there. Definitely different from the uh, white outfit that Marlon Brando wore in the original Superman movie. It, like, it's just really cool. Like, the likenesses are really good too. I'm really digging them a lot. Uh, I can't wait to see what Hot Toys does, but if you like statues more and don't care about posing, these things will be cheaper and you know, will, will look really good. Like, I really like Gerald Zod and Michael. Shannon's look and um last one was uh Fiora. Fiora. Uh she's her uh statue also is cool. So it's cool they have four of them. Um like I said, I also gained movie master figures from Mattel from them, which I didn't I don't think anyone really got to see in person or at least take pictures video of them. But except M T V Geek or whatever, but um they look this looks really good, the statue. Also there's a one twelve statue of Superman uh, from the trailer when he's pushed against the bank vault looking very cool and it's pretty good little mini statue and then we got our new DC uh, new 52 figure Simon Baz uh, Green Lantern uh, you know continuing with their uh, 7 inch figures uh, very nice paint we got the new 52 Martian Manhunter uh, looking cool like uh, they said he was original member of Justice League, but not in the New 52 comics, apparently. Uh, we got Captain Cold. Okay, good with his uh, cool, like, little ice attachment. Uh, very cool. He's got an ice pick right there. And we got uh, Black Adam. He looks pretty badass. Uh, we're supposed to get a Shazam, I believe, pretty soon. Or, like, Captain Marvel. But, yeah, it looks very awesome. Joker, really awesome. Definitely going to pick him up. I uh, gotta have a new 52 Joker. Anything Batman related, me or Kel will pick up, especially. Mostly Superman, Batman, or you know, the main uh, Justice League team. And he's got his tools and his Joe shirt. I really like that. Amazing detail. Cannot, cannot wait to get him. He looks so freaking sick. And we got Black Manta. And you go with your, uh, you know, Flat, I mean, uh, Aquaman figure. So very cool. I have Black Manta there. And we got Flash. Now here's the two packs with Vibe. We're getting Flash Vibe two packs, and he has Vibe has his own um, 
comic right now. Um, and then we're also getting a Wonder Woman Katana two pack. I guess it's to help them instead of people want it's incentive to people to buy these figures, these two packs, and they'll retail for about like I guess twenty bucks. I guess so. Yeah, like oh, uh, so it's cool, and um, you can see uh, this. Well, uh, we we got Pandora's box and everything. That's very cool. Oh, this new Swamp Thing, the new Fifty Two Swamp Thing is freaking cool. He has his wings and like you know like blades and stuff. It's so cool. The detail in here is freaking amazing. It's cool. I know Mattel did the Swamp Thing too, and I know this one won't be as more articulate or anything, but just if you want like that kind of killer swamp thing, it's cool. Here's a new seven pack that's coming out, and the exclusive is the Catwoman, new 52 Catwoman, really gorgeous. Yeah, I definitely got to pick it up. It's very sexy. Really liking this a lot, the whip and everything, and also the new 52 Dark Side, which is out right now for 90 bucks, which I'm thinking about getting. Anyway, you guys, if you want to see all the photos of everything that I'm showing here, go to bkbn.net. And for more uh, Toy Fair 2013 coverage, uh, geek news reviews, more check out bkbn.net. I'm Sean Long, member of Celebrate Trium in a big way. Dark Dark Side. Go to bkbn.net. Go to bkbn.net. Go to bkbn.net. I tell you to go. Go down.